Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not seen the past couple of uploads on the channel, I strongly suggest you check them out. I'll link them down below. But get this, in the past seven days, I pulled two of the rarest gold cards that are possible to pull. We've gone and pulled none other than one of the rarest cards in the entire set. This is the hardest gold card to pull. What is my luck right now? Ladies and gentlemen, I've done it. Oh my gosh. So yesterday when I uploaded my uh, Gold Frost Moth poll, and I was so excited about it, right? That was my second one. After we pulled Golden Zassian, Collectible Madness came around and he was like, Ando, you've had such ridiculous luck. Everyone's telling you in the comments to go buy like a lottery ticket, um, to go test your luck somewhere. But my man dropped off not one, but three Hidden Fates Mew pin collections. He's like, dude, I know you haven't pulled that shiny Charizard and everyone wants you to test your luck by opening up a bunch of Hidden Fates and seeing if you can actually pull the shiny Charizard. Let's see how good my luck is today. So we got one, uh, two, and then Mewtwo as well. So three Hidden Fates pin collections. I've also got an Alolan Sand Slash thing to open uh, after this as well. But we'll get there in a second. I think without further ado, let me get the boost packs of these bad boys open and see if we can get that shiny Charizard. And just like that, guys, with the power of thing, we've got the booster packs out of the pink collection boxes right here. So if you guys ever need any Pokemon cards at all, I'm going to link my main man, Collectible Madness, down below. He's even got an unlisted leaf code, which gets you 5% off. So make sure you make use of that. But if you haven't seen one of these pink collections in a while, guys, I'm going to go over it just real quick. We've got the promo card, so you get your Hollow Mew too. Then you get your Hollow Mew as well. You also get your code card too, so I'm going to give away a code card here. There we go. Santa Rando's back in the building. And then you get your two pins. So we get our Mewtwo one here and our Mew one. The Mew one is so cute. I've got so many of these from all the pin collections we opened, like when this Hidden Fates first started. But if I've ever felt more confident, if I've ever thought... This is going to be the episode where I get a shining full art Charizard. It's got to be now. I already know. I've got a like Gem Mint 10 PSA graded shining Charizard card. But I've never pulled one. That was a gift by my absolute main man PokeCollects. So, ah, oh, dude. I couldn't, I couldn't even explain if I actually pulled one. And if it was especially in today's episode. I've even forgotten the card trick. Let's do four. Yep, it's four. Oh, dude. It's been a while since we've done this. I want to say it's been like a month, maybe a month and a half since we last opened Hidden Fates. But it's like tough to track down the set. So when I saw this, I was like, this is the perfect way to test our lock, to see how good everything is. We've got a Star You, then we've got a Clefairy, and then we've got Hollow Jesse and James. I will definitely take a Hollow card to start things off. It's just warming us up, you know? It gives us the Mew. It gives us the Mew too. We're doing well. But then gives us another holo. Jesse and James. There's the code card. Hopefully you guys are getting the Shining Charizard. There's a Steel Type Energy. Then we've got Misty's Gym. Sabrina's Suggestion. It's a bit of a nostalgia opening this set. Like, we haven't done it in a while. Magikarp. Then Graveler. And then... Oh, it's another holo. This time it's Zapdos. I'm not complaining. I will take as many hollows as possible. How are you guys going in Hidden Fates? I've, I think a lot of people still enjoy opening this set. I'm getting a lot of emails too, asking if it's worth like hoarding this set, going and buy as like many steel products as possible and keeping it for a long period of time, hoping the price goes up. Kind of like if you bought base set back in the day. I mean, yeah, the Hidden Fates set will go up in price eventually, but it won't go up like skyrocketing soon. You got to keep it for like years at a time. So if you want to buy Hidden Fates and keep it for 10 years, then yeah, it might go up in price, but um, it's not probably an immediate return of a lot of the money. No way, no way, no way. Oh, dude, I thought that was going to be it. I saw the black and I saw the shining background. But dude, I will definitely take a shining full art Greninja GX card. Oh, mama, this is going to be it. This has to be it. No way. Oh man, this is going to be good. Alright, Greninja GX Full Art and a regular rare Golem. Ladies and gentlemen, 
You are looking at the start of an epic Hidden Fates opening. Alrighty, that's how you get it started right there. That is a beautiful card. I love Shining Greninja. I think when it was Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out, I put uh, Shiny Greninja as like one of my favorites in the game you could get. It was bananas. The animation they used for him and just the way he looks in the game, really cool. Scyther, we're gonna Jinx. Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, we're gonna Jigglypuff. Ekans, Misty Reverse, and then a Stummy Regular GX. How good are these pulls? Dude, Hidden Fates is the set to open. I've got to do more openings of this. You know what? Even though I've already got the Gem Mid 10 Charizard, we should still just casually open it every now and again just to see if I can pull the Charizard at some point. It would be, oh man, undescribable that feeling. Chansey. Graveler, Jigglypuff, we're gonna star you. Ekans as well, Eevee, got a Pikachu, Unlisted Leaf Reverse, the best kind of reverse, and then another GX. This time it's Wigglytuff GX. Man, that is a fantastic pull combo. I'll put both of them at the back actually, that's really good. What do we got? Four booster packs left. We can do this. We are like, uh, I mean, dude, I pulled a shiny full of Greninja. That's already fantastic. If we don't get anything else, we've done really well. There's another code card for you guys. Four up in the back. Come on, Ando's luck has to be there somewhere. I've had such a good week. Shiny Frost Moth, Full Art Zacian, Gold card, both of them. Can we make it even better? Can we make it even better? We certainly can with another Shiny Full Art. This time it's Sylveon GX Full Art card. No way. Oh my gosh! Dude, dude, my luck is bananas. I thought it was. But this is kind of just confirming it. Can I make it- Oh no! Of course we go and get the double up. The Moltres Zapdos Articuno Regular GX with that Full Art Sylveon GX. Oh mama! These pin collections are madness! Alright, Magical Ribbon, you go at the back. Three boosters left, and I think that means... We're starting a brand new pin collection here. Now that was really oddly sealed. It's like they missed the seal at the back. Anyway, let's uh, hopefully that means because they tried to get heaps of Charizards inside and they couldn't seal it up. Got a fly type. That sums up my mixtape. Pokemon Center Lady as well. Got an Ekans too. Psyduck about to explode. Star. Oh no. Star you. Oh, I thought I saw something in the back. No. Oh, regular rare. Is that our first booster where we got nothing? No way. Okay, that's pretty wild if it is. Three birds. This has been nuts. Open up the three birds, put you to the side. Let this blister, or this pink collection I should say, be the one to end all pink collections. Lieutenant Surge, Koga's Trap, Brock's Grit as well. Got a Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie. Darkness type, and then Onyx GX. I will take a GX like 10,000 times over. Rocky Avalanche, Heavy Impact, and Bind. Bind always scared me as a kid. When I saw the gym battle in the anime, I was like, man, that's a hardcore attack. But we are on the final Hidden Fates booster. This time it's a Mewtwo. Could it possibly be? Is there any chance at all? There's the code. Four off in the back. We've got like only one GX out of this pin collection. It's definitely possible. Giovanni, Lieutenant Surge, Eevee, Ekans as well, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander, Jigglypuff Reverse, and a regular rare Jolteon. You know what? I will take that opening any day of the week. That was pretty nuts. But we've also got something else to open. So I guess this is like really sad at the same time. Like we had a really fun start to the video, but this is more of a, uh, I don't know, end of an era note. We're opening up the very last ever Pokemon GX box. This right here is the final GX uh, Pokemon collection that they'll ever put out. They still have got a couple more like Sun and Moon products to put out. I think like maybe three more boxes or two more boxes. But in terms of like a singular Pokemon GX box, this is the final one. They're moving on to the Sword and Shield era, which is a fantastic thing. But that does mean we have to say goodbye to the Sun and Moon era. And this is it. This is the last box. I'm really happy this was because the design of it, the ice shards and how it looks, fantastic. Alolan Sandslash, I mean, fair enough. I don't really care what Pokemon's on the front. It's just an end of an era right there. 
On the back it says, freeze your foes with Alolan Sand Slash GX. And yes, it does have a barcode, all your weirdos asking about the uh, final box having the final barcode. But that's right there is the final ever Pokemon GX box, as sad as it is. So I think, let's open it up, let's see what pulls we can't get, and uh, hopefully some good stuff. I'm keen to see the promos as well, it's something to treasure. I'd recommend picking this up just because it's like an end of an era. Alright, let's get this thing opened. So guys, get your tissues out, but this right here is the Jumbo Alolan Sand Slash GX card. Man, it's going to be tough saying goodbye to the GX era, it was so much fun and these cards are really really cool. But I'm excited, they're like introducing a brand new series to the whole Pokemon TCG. I'm really really pumped up for the first ever VMAX Jumbo card. And then we've got a Alolan Sandslash GX. Does that make you a little bit sad looking at that one, knowing it's like one of the last ones they'll make? Uh, promo number 236. We've had way too many. I'm excited for a new era, but there we go. Alolan Sand Slash GX. I'll put you at the back. We'll do a recap, don't worry. There's the code card. Hopefully someone gets something good. And the four boosters we get. Why? I am so done with this set. It's nearly four years old. I'm not kidding you when I say that. This set is nearly four years old, yet they're still plopping them in there because no one wants to have them. I mean, Unified Minds and Cosmic, that's good news, so we'll open those up, but... Who, who's Uncle Little Timmy did they have to uh, persuade to get Steam Siege in there? No one would have wanted that, surely. Alright, let's hope we can get something good though on Cosmic. We haven't opened up a Cosmic Booster in a hot minute. The only time I'm really opening Cosmic or Unified now is through these collection boxes. So hopefully we can get something good. Reverse Whimsicott and a Hollow Blacephalon. Wow, I've actually forgotten a lot of these uh, cards. It's kind of like Hidden Face, you don't open the set for a while. It sort of becomes a new set because you forget a lot of like what's going on. Alright, second Cosmic Booster right here. It was another white and green too. Oh, I wonder what these pulls are like. I wonder if they give you like slightly better pulls knowing it's one of the last GX boxes they're putting out. They're like, you know what, we'll send everyone off with a bang. We'll give them a good memory of uh, Sun and Moon. Stuffle, reverse, and then another holo. This time it's Dust Noir. Do we do it? Do we just get, do we just do this, just get out the way? Oh, all right, I can sm- Yep, smells like 2015, doesn't it? All right, no, it's a solid gr it's a solid green. I don't know if you guys even want the code card. I think you just put, do you just put a blindfold on when I open Steam C? Like, you don't want to look at it? You're like, no, I don't really care for what's going on here. It couldn't phase me. Get a full art, I don't care. Look how, like, washed out that reverse is. Really odd. And that doesn't surprise me. If, if, you know what? That's probably the only regular rare we're going to get throughout the whole box. Man. Alright, let's do this. Unified Minds, our final pack right here. It's a white and green. I told you. The only regular rare we got was in a Steam Siege. How fitting. Fire type, Vigoroth. Unidentified Fossil. We're going to Tornadus. And then, what's our final pull gonna be out of the final ever GX box? It's gonna be a GX, of course, that is so fitting. Aerodactyl GX card. Primal Winds, Boulder Crush, and Wild Dive GX. Well, without further ado, let's do a recap. Those Hidden Fades boosters were something else. And I'm really happy we ended the last GX box on a GX. Oh man, that was actually a really, really fun opening. I think starting it off with such a ridiculous pull rate of Hidden Fates. Demolish the like button if you want to see more Hidden Fates openings on the channel. Even though we've got a majority of what we need, it's more just for the fun of it, to be honest. And then, finishing it with an emotional end to GX cards. Opening one of the last GX collection boxes. So sad, because I think it's like the official last GX box. But then there's two more promotional boxes for like Sun and Moon. Oh, that was a good one. Alolan Sand Slash, you're a, you've got a special place in my heart now, I think. I'm gonna put you to the side right there. We've got Onyx as well, and then we've got two full art shiny cards. Greninja and Sylveon. I love Greninja, the way it looks. Perfect, fantastic. And then we've got Sylveon. Oh, mama. That is a good looking card. All right, guys, hopefully you have a fantastic day. 
Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Demolish the like button. Subscribe if you're new. We're trying to hit 2 million subscribers this year. But most of all, we're going to keep on gaming. Alright guys, next opening. I'll see you then.